Hey YouTube, Mr. Angus Wangus here for a video. Uh, I made a Bedini wheel because I needed one. Uh, I'm still working at my other project. Uh, I need to make a couple stands for those coils. These ones are pretty shoddy and I only have one. Took the other one apart. So I got to make two more and uh, line that all up, Cromray style. But I wanted to show this Bedini wheel that I made. I have some friends out there that have making pulse motors and timer circuits and fun stuff like that so today I threw one together too I needed to condition a couple of these batteries uh, these are for an electric bicycle that I'm going to be putting together the I have a, an electric 24 volt motor kit for it um, and I'll make a video for, of that in the future when I do that that'll be fun um, but uh, I wanted to show the Bedini motor that I made so that I, I'm going to condition these batteries and get them in good shape for that purpose. But um, I didn't have one. I've had this set up in the past, sort of, I think. But I always pull it apart for different parts or magnets and things like that. So I'm going to be keeping this together now like this. Also, uh, I bought a metal detector in the fall and it runs on two 9-volt batteries. So I'll be charging those. Mainly I've made making this video have uh, perhaps new people watching my videos, following me, and um, just wanted to uh, show this Bedini setup because it's a fun way to get started in this sort of thing, but it's also very useful for charging batteries. I use it for, I used to use it to charge double A's as well. You can turn it down, tune it. I have it turned right down right now, but um yeah, you can charge uh, double A's right up to, um, you know, 12 volts. And I could probably put those in series or 36 volts and uh, charge them up. Excuse me. But this is a good system because it charges with the, um, vol the high voltage uh, back EMF spikes from that coil. And instead of current, right, it's a higher voltage, lower current. And... Um, uh, energy going through there. I don't want to get into a lot of mumbo jumbo about that because there, first of all, a lot more people that that are much more wise about it. But I don't want to open that can of worms. I just want to show this Bedini setup, right? But um, we can we can uh, charge up batteries with this setup. Oh, geez, I forget what I was going to say. Anyhow, just wanted to share it with you. It's basically uh, an old VCR bearing, right, with four magnet positions on it. Eight magnets total, because they're too thick in each, each position. I've got it tuned down. And um, not doing a whole lot of charging. <laughs> I have it tuned way down now to see how low it would go. And I got it going on 30 milliamps right now. Uh, and here's my output, right? 20 milliamps. And my battery up here is now at 11, 21, 22. I just sort of jotted it down. Works out the wattage input and output. And it's, it's about 60% plus the work, right? It's spinning this. And that's got a little bit of a mass to it, but... So I have a few improvements to make. I'd like to put a bigger coil on it. That'll make it better. But um, just wanted to share and show because I use it to charge batteries and I think a lot of other people could too. And it's fun to do, fun to make. Um, you can charge anywhere from double A's I've charged with systems like this before or you can turn them up and charge bigger batteries. Oh, I'm gonna be charging batteries for my uh, metal detector I bought in the fall and um, apparently you go through a lot of those with those things so save money there but anyways wanted to share and show um, because everyone out there is making pulse motors and timer circuits and looks like everyone's having so much fun um, I wanted to make one and needed to anyways so. but I'll be back at this project as well and I'm um, still plugging away at that but just wanted to show this so there you go. Oh, let's crank her up. Yeah, thump. Uh, I don't have a piece of reflective tape on there, I forgot. Well, let's see if we can get a... It's really thump. 
some point. That's really moving now. <laughs> and you get a better output, right? So now things have changed here. The batteries are charging better, quicker. These little batteries getting a better current going through there. And I'm pulling more current through there. I thought I could pull 420 milliamps through there for a special day today, but apparently not. Anyways, there you go. Just wanted to share. Again, for people who uh, haven't seen a Bedini wheel before, great way to charge batteries. Anywhere from AA all the way up to 12 volts, or you can series those up too if you want. Anywho, there you go. I'm going to be doing more vids on my progress here as I do more. And there you go. Just wanted to show and share. Enjoy. Talk to you later. Have a good weekend. Bye.